Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today. I found an article that you guys are gonna absolutely, absolutely love. It comes from housingwire.com and I'm gonna have a link to this article down in my description. Now, if you're in the market to buy a house, sell a house, or if you're in the rental market, you're gonna wanna pay attention to this article. This is really awesome, great information. Now, check this out. The article starts, the nation's housing market is on a correction course. The home price growth will moderate, even decline in some supercharged markets, industry economy and economists project. Here, let me read a little bit. Interest rates and uh, uh, rising interest rates and slowing economy overall are already taking some air out of the rapid home price appreciation the housing market has experienced over the past year, according to the recent released Federal Reserve uh, Beige Book of July. Several landing, leading housing market economists have, are also projecting that deceleration in home prices will continue in the near future as home buyers' demand ebbs, with the economists even predicting that prices will decline in some particularly hot markets across the nation. Housing uh, demand weakened noticeably as growing concerns about affordability contributed to non-seasonal declines in sales, resulting in a slight increase in inventory and more moderate price appreciation. State of the Federal Reserve's most recent release Beige Book Report, based on data that report um, happened in mid-July. Now listen to this quote, with inflation running well above the target rate, the market expectation that further substantial monetary and timing is needed has driven interest rates even higher, and interest rate sensitive sectors, including housing, are slowing in response. Oh man, home listed for sales are increasing, seeing asking price reductions, and both constru construction and home sales, both existing and new, are slowing. So this is basically, it's kind of crazy because in a way, like markets are coming down, but we're also having less new homes being built. So it's keeping the supply kind of low, which is kind of keeping prices up. And there's a lot of people that are that are not ready to put their house in the market right now because they're scared because getting into another house would be equally expensive because of the interest rates. So there's a lot of people holding on to their house, which is keeping that supply uh, uh, low and the price is still relatively high. But here's the problem. What is going to make that change, right? I, I believe if there's a downturn in the economy, you can see people, if there's people getting laid off, if people can't afford their mortgages anymore, they have to sell. Uh, it's going to definitely bring more uh, buyers into the market. Also, if the housing market, I mean, if the economy begins to crash, you're going to see possibly, you know, labor come down and some things will come down in price, which could turn, you know, um, uh, builders back on to make more houses which would also increase the amount of homes out there which will you know stabilize the uh, the price the problem is that home prices are just too expensive for the regular American these days our jobs don't pay enough to be able to afford a house you know you need two people two incomes literally to be able to afford a house these days you know and it's hard you need like two people making, you know, 80 to $150,000 a year, uh, you know, to be able to buy a house. And, you know, now you're sitting there, got both of your uh, working and God forbid, you know, your relationship goes south and you get a divorce and then you guys are, everyone is screwed, right? So that's the kind of like the problem that we're, we're seeing right now is that just the markets are, the, 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 the job market is just not there to support these super high home prices. Here, let me continue reading. Taking together these factors and exacerbating affordability challenges are causing a slowdown in the housing market. Overall, annual mortgage origination levels are expected to be 2.8 trillion in 2022 and 2.3 trillion in 2023. That's a big change. Down, uh, down from 4.8 trillion in 2021. That's huge. That's like half, guys. Ha Annual mortgage origination, that means the amount of people that are gonna get new mortgages is literally going to be down by half, okay, in 2023. That is kind of crazy, that is kind of crazy. We calculate that uh, over 80% of metro areas are meaning meaningfully overvalued, okay? 80% of metro areas, well, guess what, guys? 
where are the jobs in the metro areas so if 80 percent of the house are houses in metro areas are overvalued that is a big cause for concern in my opinion so home sales have gone so so home sales have really gotten completely hammered inventories are rising across the country and they're still low by historical standards but I suspect that that's going to change pretty quickly, particularly in, mo in most juiced markets, because really people are now are scared, right? The people that are doing flips, they know that the, the tides have turned and they need to unload uh, their, their homes because they know that it's, it's hard. Now, there's still a very strong rental market, which is going to offset. It's going to make people think, hey, you know what? Uh, we could wait a little bit longer, right? Or something like that um to to sell their house but if someone is tight with money if they want to get out of their investment you know these are all the people that bought second third homes or flippers they're gonna be like oh my god you know i don't want to be stuck with all this debt you know if it does go south so i could see those people jumping in and bringing the inventory up um but it still might be low right unless we see some real corrections in the market um, like in the job market now here let me continue reading the market is going to go into a correction I don't think however it's going to be a crash for several reasons I don't think that national housing prices will decline in a meaningful way but there will be some price declines across the country the worst price declines 10% peak to throw Phoenix or Tampa or Tampa although the grand scheme of things they're all those are also markets where prices went up 30% in the past year and 30% in the previous year. So you're only giving back a little bit of what has been gained in the past few years. I, this is sounds to me a little bit like naive for this person to say, uh, because um, I don't necessarily agree. Because he's, they're look, you see, a lot of people, I believe, that are writing these articles that are kind of, they don't want a housing crash, right? And what they're trying to do is paint a picture where, you know, they're saying, well, look at the look, look at the um, employment right now. Very, we have very low unemployment, but look at the type of employment that we have, right? It's low paying jobs, right? But besides that, okay, fine. We have low unemployment, all right? If everyone is like, oh, there's the crash is not going to be as bad because we have this, this, this right now. But if those things change, if the economies go south, if people lose their jobs, look at Walmart just reported uh, earnings loss is bringing the market down, right? Uh, you know, is bringing Target down and whatever. So people are spending less because things are more expensive. What do you think is going to happen? And remember, we are a global economy, right? There's inflation in Europe. There's inflation across the world, right? So things are more expensive as a whole and things are becoming more expensive for us to buy. So if there's a downturn in the market because of inflation and there's layoffs, this is going to change. So what this article is saying, you know, this guy's going to be writing a new article saying, well, we didn't anticipate this, this, this and that, you know, but that is something that we should be anticipating because if we start seeing layoffs, this whole article is going, would be written a lot differently. But please, I want to hear your thoughts. What are you? Do you agree with this article? Or do you not agree with this article? So I really want to hear your thoughts because it's very important. And let's have a discussion. Now, guys, if you like my videos, don't forget smash that little subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.